And that's how you know when the Centagix Crisis Alert System is in action. If I press the button on my badge three times, it will alert the office staff and first responders, and if I press it more than eight times, it will put the whole school on lockdown. All right, everyone, have a great recess. Damn, there's nothing for me to do out here. Hey, Chris, what's up? Oh, hey, Caillou. I'm just pretty damn bored because I can't think of anything to do out here besides just sit on the bench. Well, Chris, I got an idea on what we should do. I've heard about your sister Penelope and her stupid friend Everly, so why don't we go over and bully her? That's a great idea, Caillou! Let's bully Everly! So what's the plan? Well, we're first gonna call her names, then when she tries to run away, I will grab her and you will kick her in the shin, then we will throw her onto the concrete so that she breaks her leg, her arm, or both. That sounds like a great plan, Caillou! I kicked my sister Penelope in the shin once for breaking my disc for GTA 5, and I'll do it to Everly. It will be so funny when she cries because of us bullying her. I am going to practice my music on my saxophone until Penelope gets here to fly around with me because I forgot to fill up my pixie dust pouch before I got on the bus. Ha! Huh. You play your saxophone like a m Um, I would really appreciate it if you would one, stop saying that word, because that word is considered offensive at this school, and two, not make fun of me playing my saxophone. Whatever you little nerd. Please stop calling me names. You're hurting my feelings. Whatever you say, you f <laughs> Let's get her. All right, Everly. I'm ready to fly around with you. Everly, where are you? Huh? Is someone texting me? Oh no! Chris and Caillou are bullying Everly. I need to stop them from throwing my friend onto the concrete and injuring her. Chris, please, put me down! No! I'm throwing you, and no one will save you. Yeah, Everly, there is no one who can save you now. So prepare to be injured. I gotcha. Oh my gosh. Penelope, you saved me. What would I ever do without you? Damn it. My sister saved her in time. Penelope, thank you for saving me. You're my hero. It is my pleasure. <laughs> oh no, Everly. What's wrong? Why are you crying? Oh, Penelope, Chris and Caillou were bullying me because they said I play my saxophone like a m. Then they called me names. Then when I ran to tell Mrs. Ellie, they chased me over here. Then Caillou grabbed me and Chris kicked me in the shin. And then he threw me. What? What the heck is their problem? One, they should not be using that word, and two, they know better than to hurt students that are younger than them. Why the hell are we just standing here? We need to do something. Chris and Caillou, come with me to the office right now. I can't believe you were bullying my friend Everly. Is there something I can help you with? 
Well, Principal Jennifer, my brother Chris and his friend Caillou from the show Caillou decided to bully my friend Everly while she was playing her saxophone, and they made her run off crying, leaving her saxophone on the playground. Then Chris kicked her in the shin and threw her high up to where she would fall onto the concrete and get injured. But thankfully, I saved her in time before she could fall all the way to the ground and injure herself. Wow, Penelope. I am so proud of you for saving your friend from getting injured, and for this, you get to have a free class period with Everly. Oh boy! Did you hear that, Everly? We get a free class period together! Yay! A free class period with you! You're my favorite friend! Alright, Penelope and Everly, you all can go back outside to get your saxophone while I talk to Chris and Caillou. As for you, Chris and Caillou, this school is a bullying-free zone, which means bullying is never tolerated at this school. Not only you violated the guidelines by bullying Everly, but you nearly injured her, but luckily, Penelope saved her in time. For this, I am going to call your parents and teachers for a conference. Thank you all for coming on such short notice. If I didn't already tell you when I called you in, Chris and Caillou decided to bully Chris's sister Penelope's friend Everly and tried to throw her so far that she would get injured, but luckily, Penelope saved her in time. Chris, you have got to be kidding me. You know Everly is Penelope's best friend, and you dare to bully her. Caillou, we can't believe you tried to injure a student's friend. So here is what's going to happen. Chris and Caillou are going to be suspended from school for two weeks, then when they get back, they will serve lunch detention the week they get back. Those sound like fair consequences. All right, you all are free to go. Come on Caillou, we are going home right now. Chris, we are very mad at you for bullying Everly. You know Everly is my best friend. That's it. You are grounded for the next four weeks, and you owe her an apology, so the next time Everly comes over, you are going to say sorry to her, and if you don't say sorry, you will be grounded even more. Now go upstairs to your room and think about what you and Caillou did to my friend. Yeah, Chris, what Penelope said. Go upstairs to your room. Penelope, what the hell are you thinking? You cannot ground me. I'm your damn brother for heaven's sake. First of all, Chris, you need to stop using those words around me because I don't like it. And second, mommy said I can ground you if I have to. Caillou, words cannot describe how angry we are at you. How dare you bully Everly? You know she is Penelope's best friend. That's it. You are grounded for the time being of your suspension and lunch detention, and if we get a call from the school that you skipped lunch detention, you will be grounded longer. Now go upstairs to your room and don't come out until dinner is ready. What? <laughs>